You may have heard of the company Elegoo who makes 3D printers, but did you know they also make Arduino-based educational toys for people to learn about programming and mechanical engineering? It might look like a toy with its cute little face and design, but there's a lot more to it. Elegoo did send me this kit for free in return for this video. I do get to keep this at the end, but I'm not sponsored or paid to say anything in this video, nor do they get to see it before it gets published. The second thing I want to quickly mention is that there's so much more that can be said and done about this product that I won't be able to cover all of it in this short video. So most of the things in this video that I'm about to say just covers like an overview of what it can do. With that being said, let's get into it. First, we need to assemble the owl. It comes with everything you need to get started from all the parts even down to the included screwdriver. Everything is included and I had no trouble building it, which I'm glad since it's aimed for ages around 13. Although I'm like three times over that recommended age, I do want to say, however, I had a lot of fun building it. And although I can't speak for myself from the yesterdays, I found the instructions easy to follow, whether it be the paper version or the online video tutorial. Only thing I want to mention is that it's a bit fiddly and tight in the chassis for routing the cables. Maybe it's easier for kids with smaller hands and there's no spanner for the tiny little nuts. Again, making it a bit challenging to install or tighten. Nothing major, though I thought I'll just mention it. All in all, it took me around 45 minutes to build. That includes setting up the cameras to make this video. So I'd say you can probably cut that time in half, if not more, if I wasn't filming. The app is clearly aimed at a younger audience with its cartoonish interface. It's easy to understand with helpful hints everywhere. And I like how it has multiple language options too. With the app, you can carry out some basic to medium tasks right from the get go without having to program anything. You can control the OWL robot like an RC, although the controls are a bit fiddly and sensitive. You can set it to the obstacle avoidance mode, as the name suggests it will uh, use its forward ultrasonic sensors to avoid hitting things. By using the line tracking module underneath, the OWL bot can track the black lines on the paper with the included circuit. Expression controls allows you to select pre-made faces for the LED dot matrix panel, or you can draw your own faces. Line control guides the owl bot by tapping lines into the app interface. It can also play basic notes. You can select the color and brightness for the LEDs on top of the control unit. Those are the basic functions that you can control within the app. Moving on to the slightly more advanced mode is the graphical programming section by using the simple drag and drop commands. You can program basic functions uh, to control the robot. It's a very nice and easy way to introduce programming theory to people, including myself, which I'll happily admit that I'm not too comfortable with. I think there's enough for beginners to play and learn within the app, but there's so much more. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, since the control unit is based off the open source Arduino integrated development environment, you can expand its functions to near limitless possibilities. Elegoo includes additional project files and instructions that you can explore with the OWL bot. The chassis has been designed with multiple mounting holes, so it's compatible with Lego parts as well. The app is beginner friendly as we have seen, but it's quite awesome that Elegoo includes a whole bunch of resources from project files, PDF instructions, lessons down to like technical specs and more for you to dig into once you are more 
comfortable and want to up your programming game. So to wrap up then, although this may look like a toy, but for around 70 US dollars or 55 UK pounds, I think it's so much more than just a toy. And it could really be a good learning tool as it can accommodate such a huge range of skill levels. It might sound cheesy, but honestly, I had so much fun playing with it. And I think there's really could be a case to be made about the future impact if someone does enjoy or want to explore the world of programming and mechanical engineering. No doubt the future will rely more and more on AI and automation. Who knows? This might just be the perfect stepping stone at a affordable price for someone out there. Okay, that's it. And lastly, I would like to thank Elegu again for sending me this kit to try out. And I hope you found this video useful or entertaining. If you did, please consider giving me a like or subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would really appreciate it. If not, you're still awesome. And thank you very much for watching. All right, I'm Joe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.